Matt's Epic Pagan One. And today, I've created a Lego Stranger Things Demogorgon action figure. Now, I have switched the background to black, which I have never done before. You know, to kind of show some team spirit for the upside down. And what I have here is a Demogorgon. Yes, that is precisely what it is. Now, this guy is really bendy. If you get my drift, he can bend a lot. So basically, he has a uh, one joint on uh, on each arm, right up here. He can also bend at the top right here, like this. He can bend at his elbow and at his hand, and each individual finger can move as well. That's for each hand. For the legs, the legs can move right here at the kind of like thigh. No, not thigh. At the place where they connect with the hip. It can move down here at the knee, and back here, uh, each like kind of back uh, toe, I guess, can also move. The waist can rotate 360 degrees, which means that you can pose him in some really cool positions. And uh, his head can move a lot, and each individual kind of like Venus flytrap part can move on his face, which I just accidentally broke. Now, the way that I built this guy is actually very, very interesting. Um, I didn't build him with, uh, with the bottom of the bricks going to the bottom. I actually made it to the, with the side of the brick um, going to the bottom, if you know what I mean. Just to show you a size comparison, this, this is the Demogorgon next to Sherbert. As you can see, he is absolutely massive. So... The main colors that I used were light gray and dark gray, including a little bit of black for some of the hinges. Uh, most of the hinge pieces that I used were from Mixels, which I believe Lego has discontinued and I'm really sad about because Mixels were sweet. And then uh, for the top of the, uh, for, for the kind of head part, I used uh, red and white. I really like it. I think it's really interesting the way I made it, as you can see. Right here by the, um, by the kind of, dang, look at all them spoopy shadows. Uh, at the kind of waist right here, I used all these interesting kind of pieces of how it all moves together like that with all them bendy edges and stuff. So yeah, that's, that is my Lego Demogorgon. Now, along with the Lego Demogorgon, to show some team spirit, I also have a drawing of a Demogorgon. I did use reference, and I did draw this a while ago. I just dug it out to show you guys. So this is a Demogorgon in the drawing world, and this is a Demogorgon in the Lego world. Now, I'm also going to show you a hint of a little, a little preview of what is going to be in my next video. Do you know who this is? If you think you know who that is, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. But anyways, that is a wrap up of my Lego Demogorgon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.